Hey guys, this is Kellen from Electric Wheelchairs USA. Thanks for coming by our YouTube channel. In this video, we want to go over some differences of the Affy Scooter S3 and the Affy Scooter S4 and just talk a little bit more about them so you understand these scooters and why, what makes them so great, really. Now, before we get into this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Coming out with lots of content about different products, mobility scooters, lift chairs, power wheelchairs from all the major brands in the US. If you have any requests of certain products you wanna see, let us know and we'll make it happen. Also, we do have a catalog that is free. So if you wanna have something that you hold in your hand and physically feel in touch, you can call and request one, we'll send one to you. It takes about 10 days or less to get to you once it's requested. You can also go to our website and there's a section on our site where you can fill it out and we can send it to you that way as well. There's a lot of customization that you can do with them. Um, before I get into the customization, I'll just show you a lot of the similarities between the S4 and the S3. So obviously the headlight is the same, same headlight. And you can see actually from the, if I look at the floorboard, of both of these, it's identical from the floorboard back, they're identical. So you can see like the back of the scooter, that's the S3, this is the S4 in the back. So really it's the same scooter. The only thing that's different is the front portion. So from here forward, that's what makes it different. So with the S3, um, obviously it's a three wheel, S4 is a four wheel. A lot of people want a three wheel for the simple purpose of you have a better turning radius. You can make sharper turns. Four wheel, you just have more stability. That's the major difference. Some people prefer a three wheel. Some people prefer, prefer a four wheel. We sell more four wheels than three wheels, but it's really up to you. Going over the features real quick. So I'll do um, the features I go over. I mean, it's, it's for both models. It's available. Um, both scooters do have a 500 pound weight capacity, but you can add a heavy duty suspension to the S4, which increases the weight capacity to 600 pounds. You cannot add a heavy duty suspension to the S3 because of its three wheel configuration. So it's something to keep in mind. Everything else that I'm about to talk about, you can add to both models. The S3 and the S4 do come standard with this lockable storage compartment. It's on the back, but you can also upgrade to a storage tote to give you more of a storage space. So you can see the difference in size, a lot more space in the storage tote, but it's not lockable. I mean, you can clamp it shut to secure it so the lid doesn't come off, but this you can actually lock. So you can put some belongings in here that are, you wanna make sure they're secure. Um, another thing too to make note of is with the storage tote, if you get that, this bar has to be added on and you cannot swivel the seat. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, if you were to get the storage tote, you can swivel the seat. Um, actually with the hard top canopy, which is added to this, that prevents you from swiveling, I believe as well. Now this hard top canopy is something that you can add to the S4 model as well. It's really well made. Got a big windshield on the front. Really solid, sturdy. A lot of canopies on the market are not made very well. They're really cheaply made. This is really a well-made one. You can get rain sides for these. So if you add a canopy to either model, rain sides come on the sides here and it comes all the way down and it creates this enclosure. So if you're riding this in the rain, you're not gonna get wet. So that's nice to have if you live in a rainy environment. You can also add golf tires to both of the scooters. This is the standard tire, four inches wide. Golf tire is eight inches wide. You might want that if you have more to have more traction, um, like if you're riding in grassy terrain often. Also, the seat. So you can come standard with a 20 inch wide seat, which is this is what these are. You can get a 22 inch wide seat. You can get a 24 inch wide seat, or you can get a dual seat, which is 33 inches wide. I am personally uh, about 230, 235 pounds, six foot four, 20 inch wide seat is plenty for me. Um, 
but you know you have the option to get a bigger seat if you wanted to. Um, another customization you can add to both of these is the throttle is on the right side. But if you are left-handed, you want the throttle on the left side, we can get it on the left side. Just call us before placing the order um, and we can make sure that it's on the left side. Or you can also get a foot throttle. So it's just like a pedal. Like if you're driving a car, if you prefer that, um, we can get that. It's a little switch too. So the, it's actually cut into the, to the floor and you can press the pedal just like driving a car and there's a little switch on the tiller. So if you wanted to use the foot throttle, you just put the switch down or if you wanted to use the, uh, the standard throttle that it comes with, you can flip the switch up. There's a lot of leg room in these. Again, I can sit here comfortably. I mean, even if you're about six, 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 seven, six, eight, you can definitely sit in one of these. Um, it's made for tall riders, big riders that need a heavy duty scooter. I'll go for a, uh, a little ride on each model and uh, <laughs> talk about what it feels like. So I personally like the four wheel. Tiller is adjustable. Like this is actually too far away from me. Like I don't feel comfortable with this. So I'm gonna move it towards me. And that just kind of shows you like how, how much space you have. Like if you're a taller person, this is really a good scooter for tall people. Leg room, plenty of leg room. You put your feet up like that, put it like this. You know, it's it's plenty of room. I went over the throttle already. This is your forward and reverse switch. So now I'm going in reverse. Going forward. Uh, this is your speed control. You have a half speed and a one speed. Half speed, top speed's about five miles per hour. One speed, about 10 miles per hour. You can upgrade to a high torque motor your top speed gets to about 12, 13 miles per hour if you wanted to add that on. You got a horn on both sides. You got left and right blinkers. You've got a front headlight. You got hazard light button. Uh, comes standard with the two cup holders. Charging port located up nice and high. You got dual USB charging ports. This is identical on both the S3 and the S4. Mirrors are also adjustable. So I feel like the, the leg room is fine on the S4, but the three wheel, you actually have more leg room because of the way the, the floorboard is, the wheel is in the center and you can put your legs, extend them out just a little more. So that could be a uh, you know, deciding factor for you. And I'll get off here and get on the, the, the three wheel and show you. And we'll take this one for a little spin. So you can see here like the front wheel assembly is right here. So I can actually put my feet out a little bit further. So if you're tall um, and you want as much leg room as possible, the S3 might be a better choice for you. Also this uh, canopy, um, they will be changing the canopy. So it, it has a, a white top to it right now, but it's going to be a black canopy and it's going to have a slightly different design. It'll still have the big windshield. They're also coming out a uh, solar panel canopy, which is really nice. So you'll be able to charge the uh, the scooter just off the solar panels at the top of the canopy, which is really cool. So again, there's another thing too to keep make note of. Like when I make a sharp turn in a three wheel, the mirror hits this. Um, so just something to keep in mind. But again, you know, you can see it's a lot tighter when I turn with the three wheel as opposed to the four wheel. That's the primary difference. So I would say if you want a tighter turning radius, go with the S3. And then also if you want as much leg room as possible and you're really tall, S3 is good for that too. Um, and again, I feel like that leg, leg room is fine on the S4, but if you want to maximize that, just go with the, the S3, to get the most leg room possible. If you have any questions, about any of these African products, call us. We're open every day. We have agents standing by. Our phone number is 1-800-682-9444. Visit us at electricwheelchairsusa.com. You can do that as well. We also have some secondhand models that are available that offer a full warranty that comes with these. I don't think I mentioned that before, but the warranty is awesome. Three-year labor warranty. If there's any issues that arise, they're gonna to try to troubleshoot that with you over the phone, but if they can't get it resolved, they'll send a technician to you for the first three years. It's incredible. 
The only other warranty that I know of is uh, there's a couple other brands that offer a one year labor warranty and Afkim offers three. So it just gives you additional peace of mind. So with the secondhand models, it comes with that warranty. Um, those models might have a slight blemish, like maybe a scratch or maybe has uh, been used has some, a little bit of mileage. If you're interested in one of those models, just call us. Like you want an S4 model or an uh, C4 model or whatever it is. And we can see what secondhand models are available and we'll send you pictures and wh whatever, if there's any blemish or anything, we'll send all that to you. We'll be fully transparent and they're significantly cheaper. Um, so you can get that if you wanted to and it comes with a full warranty. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Uh, definitely let us know if you have any questions and we'd love to earn your business. We'll also give you a great deal. So mention this video and uh, we'll hook you up. Thanks. Have a great day.